Hello everyone, it's Riku Keyblade Master, and unfortunately, for those of us who were looking forward to a white Christmas, well, sadly we are not going to get that. Man, I, ah, uh, alright. Usually I hate certain amounts of snow, but I'm going to be real with you. Snow falling down on Christmas Day, just the snowflakes are like really, really pretty. And this is like the fifth year that that has happened to us. This climate crisis is really, really, seriously itching its way closer and closer to gaining my wrath. And speaking of gaining my wrath, I'm I'm sorry, sweetie. I I have to do this. Please don't be upset with me. If you're watching this, just know I'm on your side here. I'm trying not to cry, but a very close friend of mine just found out that she was barren, meaning she can't have children. And it just eats, it just ate her up inside and that, that made me think about what happened to me when, um, I first considered that possibility. They told me that even if I could have kids, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> even if I could have kids, I risk putting them through the same exact thing that I went through, which means I would have to make the same choices that my mom had, and it would be like history repeating itself all over again. And as if that wasn't bad enough. What I mean by having my kid go through what I went through? Unfortunately, what I have is genetic on my father's side. So, I risk passing that on to my children. I also risk the possibility of having miscarriages because of it. Or them living until the age of two years old and then I lose them. I just... I couldn't bear it. But you know what? And what's worse is... I was told that at a very young age. And by that, I mean, I was about as young as maybe, I don't know, six, maybe five. I 
I mean, I knew my life was going to be a waking nightmare, but man, and yeah, I mean, ever since then, I've been used to hearing bad news. But just because I'm used to it does not mean I'm going to sit there and take it. I'm sorry, this is really not oh, easy for me. Last night's discussion really triggered my PTSD last night. And although I was thinking about that possibility for years, that discussion was the final um, the final grenade, the nail in the coffin, so to speak. Anyway, on the bright side of finding out at a young age, at least I can take solace in the fact that I would have been one of the best model parents because of all of the research on children that I have done. All the classes I took on children. I took child development ages two through six. The reason I didn't take the other one is because I couldn't. Um, because you had to wear one of those belly things and it was like way too heavy for me to even be able to balance myself. I can't even balance myself as it is. So yeah, above above all else, on one hand, I guess I can't be too upset because I've got two nephews, two wonderful little nephews, and they're just the cutest. Although I was so looking forward to getting a niece, but I was shot down because Alyssa had a miscarriage. For those of you who don't know who she is, I've told you about my brother Armando before multiple times and uh I even talked about his former girlfriend Samantha Hartman which brings me to another issue my cousin Alicia remember how I told you guys that she was pregnant she is just straight up adorable. She r beautiful red hair, freckles. She reminded me so much of Strawberry Shortcake. In fact, we used to watch that a lot when we were little. So hence the nickname I gave her, Strawberry Shortcake. And even though I haven't seen her baby yet, Pretty sure she's a little apple dumpling. I told Alicia it would be funny if she dressed up as strawberry shortcake for one Halloween and dressed her little girl up as apple dumpling. Strawberry shortcake's little sister. Man, does that take me back. <laughs> 
If I had the ability to watch it all over again, I would. Anyway. Uh. I forget what she actually named her baby. But my grandma had a name picked out before she had, uh, before Alicia even had the baby, Micaiah, and Micaiah is actually an Indian name, which goes into our, uh, family genetics, we are at least some of us, I know I'm a descendant of the Cherokee tribe. It's, you can tell by the jawline of which tribe you are a descendant of. Funny story about how I found out that little ditty. Uh, the first time I went over to Shadowflower's house, this was when we were in middle school. Um, I met her dad. And her dad was playing a really cool wooden flute instrument. And that's when he explained to me how to find out which tribal unit you're a descendant of. And as soon as he seen me, he put that thing down and... He's like, oh my gosh, we finally get to meet you. She told us a lot of unique stuff about you, and finally, here you are in person. But that's not even the kicker. When I demonstrated my singing talents, I shit you not. I had Bray's older brother, Jonathan, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I guess she said he fell out of his chair. And Jonathan, if you're watching this, at least you're getting a little bit of a laugh. Along with the bad news that, you know, <laughs> I get stuck with. But come on. Don't be embarrassed. Please don't be mad. Those were really fun memories that we made together. The first time we met. In person. Oh, man. So please don't be upset with me. <laughs> Ever since I've cherished those memories, I've never let them go. Um, but yeah, back to uh, the task at hand. I know this video is a little long, but it's, I'm sorry you had to see me tearing up. I apologize. Unfortunately, it wasn't something that I could get out of my system before recording this video. But at least you know my genuine reaction. For when I found out each piece of miserable news that I had received if you like what you see, comment, rate, subscribe to become a Keyblade wielder. Stay awesome as usual. I think another reason why I finally broke down is because I'm still in the grieving process for what happened to Carla. Sammy Ray's mom, the girl that I told you guys about that's married to my cousin Christopher. Okay. 
the girl that I told you about that was wearing a really pretty wedding dress that was, like, blue. Like, two different shades of blue. Like I said, I've been Riku Keyblade Master. Comment, rate, subscribe to become a Keyblade Wielder. And stay awesome as usual. You guys are awesome. I don't know where I would be without you. When I started out, I didn't think I was going to get anywhere. I thought 50 subscribers and that's it. But as I kept going, sure, there were a lot of death threats here and there. But you know what? You guys helped me through everything. And I cannot stress enough how thankful I am. And in turn, that's why I try my best to help you guys. Through so much. I, I really appreciate you guys. I know I keep saying that, but... At least when I sound like a broken record, it's genuine. As opposed to somebody who would say something like that without having any genuine reaction. I'll see you guys next time.